Welcome to our movie about Street Art, where we interview Uncle Mike. If you ever see my street art posters, I put the word truth on there. And that's a word that I guess maybe three years ago when I started doing street art here in Austin, that was a word that I was saying a lot um, to kind of represent, I guess, anything that I agreed with. I was like, that's the truth. If something was good, so that's the truth. The reason why it's important to tell the truth is because if you don't tell the truth, then the person that you lie to won't believe you anymore. I lie a lot sometimes. You do lie a lot? Let's be honest, bro. You want to basically create art that you're excited about and naturally other people will probably get excited about that as well. So if it's around Christmas time, I might do some Christmas pictures for my studio. If uh, maybe there's a celebrity that just passed away, I like to do street art posters of them so we can remember people that passed away. When you do street art, how do you get up to high places? That's a really good question, Daniel. When doing street art, I'd say the best two ways, best three ways to get to high places, number one would be a ladder. So if you want to bring your ladder, you can definitely get to high places like this. Number two would be if you have a really long pole, you can glue and paint using a very long pole. And the last one, one of my favorites, you could stand on your buddy's back. If you were standing on your buddy's back and you had mud on your shoe, then you would get a big mud print on your buddy's back. <laughs> Do you like to paint your imagination? Mm. Yes. Um, and sometimes I'll just have a memory from when I was a little kid and then I'll do a street art poster about that. I love to draw my imagination. Like, I just get a piece of paper out and, get, and then just get my pencil and just, just do some cool looking lines. Like, ooh. That's how you express yourself. So like when, when I use my imagination, it's about, I like first I just close my eyes and think about Try to see what's inside my head, and then I just like I make cool lines, and then when I'm done, I like to sometimes color it in so it looks like a really cool design. Uh, when you press the ends. Yeah, look how you see how it shows the arrow. The arrow points this way. So make sure when you press it, you're, you're close to the surface. That's the first time to ever use spray paint? Look at that! We went to this awesome street art place in Austin. 